so we went over using sort of the grid method, which is a visual way to look at long division. But now we're going to look at how can I divide polynomials using more of a traditional algorithm. So we're going to go back, we're going to revisit some of our previous knowledge, things that we know from the past. So if I were looking at 47,895 divided by 30, I would put the term being divided in the box, and the divisor out of the box, and I would work through this piece by piece. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take 30. I'm going to see how many times it goes into the first possible term. So here it goes into 4, 0 times, and 47 once. And then we 1 times 30 gives me 30, and then I subtract, and I get 17. And it's quickly getting to be numbers that I don't want to deal with, which is great. And then 30 times what gets me as close as I possibly can to 178. Well, 3 times 6 is 18. So 3 times 5 is going to get us as close as we're going to get. So 3 times 5 is 15. So 30 times 5 is 150. 150. And then I'm going to subtract and get 20. All right, then we, oh sorry, I forgot to remind you guys that we were dropping a term here. And then we're going to take this guy and bring it down to 89. And again, we're looking at sort of a close kind of thing. Um, 30 times 10 would give us 300, so we're going to say 30 times 9 is going to give us 3 times 9 is 27, times 10 is 270. And then we would subtract and get 9, 19. And then we remember to bring down our 5. This is very much the traditional algorithm. And 180 was going to be the closest term here. Times. And then 180 is going to be by 6. So we then take 6 and also multiply it over here. 6 times 30 is 180. So we're going to take away our 180 and get 15. I'm going to take and I'm going to walk, write down what I have right here. So this is the same as for 7,895 divided by 30. It could also be written as a fr fraction. And then that could also be written as 1,000. 596 remainder 15 or you might see it written as 1596 with 15 pieces still being divided by 30 which would give us 15 thirtieths which then simplifies to 1596 and a half. So that's long division, just a little review. So how do we take this idea and put it here? Well, this is the tricky part. So we're going to say that this binomial is dividing into this trinomial. So we're going to do the same kind of thing. We're going to say, lead with this n term right here. Say, how many times does n go into n squared? It goes in n times. And then we're going to multiply this, whatever it is, to the whole quantity. So n times n plus 5 is going to give me n squared plus 5n. And then just like we did up here, we're going to subtract everything. So this makes 0. It always will because we've designed it to do that. Plus 5n. We're going to do the same thing we did before. How many times does 30 go into this? Here we're asking how many times does n go into 5n? Well, it goes in 
five times. Still drop plus 18. And then five times the quantity here is going to give us 5n plus 25. And then we're going to subtract. It's going to give us 0n minus 7. So n squared plus 10n plus 18 divided by n plus 5 is n plus 5 remainder 7. Or, just like we wrote it over here, n plus 5 and 7 over n plus 5. This n plus 5 right here is coming from this term, the divisor. This n plus 5 right here is coming from our answer. So two different things. Try to set this one up on your own, and then we'll review it in the next video.